It's currently 7.45 a.m. in the morning and we are going to try the very famous Thermae Spa here in Bath. Basically, we're here and we're going to have a sound bath meditation session. Good morning from Paddington. Here we are. I've got my little one day suitcase with me and I'm ready for a staycation. I feel like it's been a little, uh, a little while. <laughs> so let's board that train and let's head over to Bath. bought the Great Western Railway train and uh, it only takes an hour 20 minutes who knew so it's the perfect day trip I met some other bloggers who are down there and also over here ah! <laughs> and, uh, yeah uh, we are already an hour in I will see you again when we are in Bath <laughs> Whilst we are walking to my hotel room, let me tell you the purpose of this trip actually, which was to highlight the well-being and wellness activities in the city. So stay tuned. Here we are, mini quick hotel room tour. I've also got hotel room guests. Hello. <laughs> got somebody else down there in the corner. So their hotel is a little bit uh, further away. So they're just crashing at mine for now. But anyway, this is my uh, beautiful hotel room. I want to say it is definitely movie themed. So as you can see above the, the blur, the bed there, we have some uh, old school film things. And then we have a camera above the massive TV. And other than that, it's, yeah, it's spacious. It's got an amazing view, which you can see here. And now we're gonna all go and explore bath a little bit before our first activity point, which is a meditation sound bath. You know, let's do it. So what are we doing now? We're climbing the Bath Abbey Tower. How many steps? 250. 250 steps, because why not, you know? Good views, I promise you, let's go. <laughs> Hello. Very windy. It's very windy, very cold, but it is them. a really nice 360 view. And uh, <laughs> over there, so Ruby's very excited that way. <laughs> and for only £10, you actually get a tour of the entire tower, including a behind the clock view, which was super fun, plus these stunning views of Bath, including the Roman baths, and if you spot it here on the left, the city's most famous rooftop pool, which we shall explore tomorrow. <laughs> I don't even want to speak. <laughs> but basically, we're here and we're going to have a sound bath meditation session. And everyone around me is really quiet, so I'm going to stop talking. I'm going to try and film whatever I can for you. But um, let's see what I can capture. Let's do this. All I really would love you to do, as much as you can today, is let go of everything that's out there. So it doesn't really get more zen than a sound bath in bath, right? <laughs> Comment below and letting me know if you've ever tried something like this. For me, it was definitely a first. And as you can see here, the Soul Spa also offer tons of other wellness sessions and classes. So do have a look. The link is below as usual. Ruby, how do we feel? Relaxed. Relaxed, right? Very relaxed. And very, um, very Calm. quiet, right? No. Everyone's chatting no. and I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was nice, really nice. Ruby is like a, a guru. A, a guru. <laughs> I was going to say, was gonna say an experienced sound bar bather, but also a guru apparently. Also a guru. So yeah, no, it was really nice. Definitely do recommend. And now we go go for some drinks. Yay! 
So, hello, hello. Um, next up, we're now at the Ivy, like I said, for some sort of pre-dinner drinks. And it's really beautiful here. It's very similar in terms of uh, the Tower Bridge Ivy in London, if you've ever been there. So the design is very similar. And I believe we're now gonna try some cocktails and some mocktails. We're gonna enjoy, you know, being dressed up. <laughs> it's nice, Ruby's also dressed up. Ruby's just gonna be the secret star of this vlog, basically. And from delicious mocktails to dinner, because this is how you do it in Bath. That evening we headed to Robin, which was one of the latest restaurant openings in the city. They served us the most delicious sushi and so many other Japanese-inspired dishes that I can't possibly list them all here, but I have to say I loved the food. And you know I can be picky, but it was extremely flavorful and just exciting. I mean, look at the presentation here. We had lots of fun and we also had Instagrammable cocktails. Look at this. And you know, at the end of day, one, I went to bed super full and super happy that I had made a new friend called Ruby because initially I didn't actually know anyone on the trip. Anyway, good night and let's go to day two. It's currently 7.45 a.m. in the morning and we are going to try the very famous Therme Spa here in Bath and it's a rooftop pool as i said yesterday so let's go do it and just like that five minutes later i am already changed <laughs> everything went really quick um yeah that's really it everyone else is getting changed i obviously can't film them you can see it's got kind of like this um you know structure where you have a walk through changing rooms and then you sort of walk through the bit where i am now to go through to the fun bit so here is me telling you that there's uh, only a pool, but that is obviously completely not true. As you can see around me right now, there's also an amazing wellness area. And um, we're here before the public. This is the reason why we can obviously come and film everything. Otherwise, there'd be lots of people here enjoying you know, their spa and obviously for us. <laughs> then we couldn't walk around with our cameras. But yeah, uh, I'm sure you can hear or feel the vibe. It's a huge spa with so many opportunities. So we've got this amazing red sauna behind me here, the biggest steam room I've ever seen, and everything is sort of lit in different colors. The colors are changing, which is really, really beautiful. So even though I haven't done anything, I already feel relaxed. <laughs> Let's not miss out on the most important fact here, yeah? The water is naturally hot, so it's a hot outdoor pool, not a cold one. And in fact, it's so hot that they actually have to cool it down for swimming. And yes, I also went in, I just forgot to film myself because I was getting that drone footage for you. <laughs> And from the spa, quick change into lunch. I just did nothing interesting for you guys, basically. I just stayed in my lovely hotel room that I showed you yesterday and I worked. <laughs> so now I've changed and we're gonna go for lunch to a really special restaurant. I have been told, I'll tell you more when we get there. Right now the sun is shining here in Bath. We love it and it's actually fairly warm, mild outside. So let's go outside, let's have lunch and let's explore a little bit. Where are we? This is Boho Marche, another fairly new place in Bath, and it was really more brunch than lunch, which is what you can see here. Overall, I have to say that the flavors were okay, but I would probably recommend this place more for the vibe and the decoration and the cocktails rather than only the food. Nonetheless, with Ruby on my side, I had a blast, and yeah, it was a very beautiful restaurant. Now, do you recognize this place from Bridgerton? If you haven't watched it yet, then you definitely don't have Netflix and you should have a look. This is the Royal Crescent and it is Bath's most famous street. Fun fact, buses are not allowed here in order to keep the tourists away, although I'm sure they come anyway. Sometimes they even bring drones. <laughs> After that, we stopped by the world famous Roman baths, the place on every bath postcard ever. And it was impressive. You learn a lot about how the Romans used them, how the water is cleaned and how it is cooled down and you see a lot of beautiful architecture too of course weekend tickets are from 20 pounds however which i thought was fairly steep so just to let you know next stop afternoon tea what else so we are here at the i don't i can't actually say it roseate 
Roseat Hotel, I believe, where some of the group have actually stayed overnight. And we are going to have afternoon tea, of course. Um, we've already seen some of the pieces. Uh, um, all I'm saying is extremely green apple, which you'll see in a bit. And uh, for now, I'm gonna have a delicious caffeine-free Centra tea. Sorry, I forgot to show you the, the green apple thing. <laughs> I promised you, basically bit into it already. So I'll just show you what it looks like from the other side. Here we go, it's very, very shiny. And inside, essentially, you've got like a little apple pie uh, moment with white crispy chocolate. So you bite into like a cold crispy layer of um, white chocolate and then you've got cold apple pie. It's actually really delicious. You know, I'm not the biggest sweet tooth, but this one, uh -huh. I really like it. Don't forget to follow my Instagram and TikTok. It's Sandy Makes Sense everywhere and all links from this vlog are in the description box as usual. I love you and leave you until next time, which will be my February London vlog. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.